Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So in front of us today, we do have a case from Spigen for the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. This is going to be the ultra hybrid one tap metal ring case. So basically, this is their ultra hybrid clear case with MagSafe compatibility. So taking a look at the packaging, it's very nice and simple. We do get a nice little image of what the case looks like. I'm not sure how well the camera is picking it up. It does tell us the device it's for, the model, and we also do get the color. It does say white and that is because of the MagSafe ring. Opening it up, all we have to do is pull this tab, which I ripped off, and actually take the case out of its pouch and check we don't have anything else in here. So popping that to the side, let's go ahead and take the case out of its pouch. Inside, we obviously do get our case. It does have some plastic film on it, and that is to just keep it as clear as possible until you actually place your phone inside. All right, so before placing the case on the phone, let's actually take a closer look. Once again, we do have our MagSafe ring right here, which honestly is one of the main reasons that I do buy a case. I really need MagSafe. I use a lot of MagSafe products, even with my Android devices. And so honestly, without a MagSafe ring, a case has currently been useless for me. But other than that, let's actually go ahead and place this on our phone. We'll go ahead and take off the sticker on the inside. Boom, and then place our phone starting from the right side, pushing it in and boom, nice and snug fit. And then we'll go ahead and take the sticker on the back and voila. So a case is to protect your phone and having a clear case gives you the extra benefit of actually being able to see the beautiful design of the phone that you have and the color of the phone that you have. So I do really love Spigen's clear cases. They look very nice. They do unfortunately start getting yellowish in around three months or so. And so that is kind of one of the downsides of this case. But again, when they are clear, they look very nice. Once again, we do have our MagSafe ring on the back. So we will actually test that out to see the magnet strength. And then for our lenses, we do have a very thin cover and it's barely going above the camera lenses. So I'm not sure how well that'll protect it, but it will still give you some protection, which is better than none. I'm not sure if you noticed, but on the edges of this case, we do have these little legs. So they do go above the actual back plate. And I think that's just for the extra drop protection for this case. On the edges, we also do get these little air pockets and these are actually air cushion technology by Spigen. Basically, when you do place your case inside, these do trap air inside of it. So that will give some extra shock resistance to the case. Taking a look at the right side, we obviously do have our buttons right here. We do have two little holes and that is for a lanyard. If you do use one, you can use it with this case. And then on the top, we do get one little microphone cutout. On the left side, we only do get a logo. It just says Spigen right there, which is very nice and minimal. On the bottom side, we do get obviously our speaker grill cutout, our USB-C charging port cutout, and we do get another microphone cutout, and we can also see our SIM tray right there. Looking at the front, we do see the cutout for the front firing speaker grill right there, so we're not gonna be losing out on any sound with this case. We also do have a very nice lip, considering that I do have a third-party screen protector on here. The lip is actually going fairly above the display, and so if you do drop it, on its face, this should actually absorb most of that shock and actually keep your screen free of scratches and cracks. Moving on, let's actually go ahead and test out the buttons. So starting off, I do want to begin with the volume rocker and three, two, one. Very nice and clicky. However, one of their other cases is a little more clicky than this one and previous ultra hybrid cases do feel a little easier to press. So again, still very nice buttons, but I do feel like the previous version was a tad bit better. Last but not least, since we do have a MagSafe magnet on here, I will go ahead and test it out with this MagSafe power bank. So I do place it on, turn on the power, we should be getting charged. And yes, we are wirelessly charging right now. And now if we do a nice little shake test in three, two, one. The power bank just fell off. So while the magnets are still fairly strong, it's not the best and unfortunately, as you saw, they did just fall off up until this point. So they are still some pretty decent magnets and in day-to-day -day usage, they will probably hold on to a lot of things. But as you saw, they're not the strongest that I've tested out on this channel. So that's not gonna be the best MagSafe magnet, especially from Spigen because their magnets usually are pretty strong. Other than that, the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case for the Pixel 9 Pro XL is pretty nice. It looks very good in my opinion. I do really love clear cases. You do get the MagSafe functionality and you do get some pretty decent protection with this case. So if you do wanna check this product out, there will be a link in the description. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see y'all in the next one.